What's up, bitches? You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another episode of Random Thoughts. Today I want to talk about another common streaming L. <laughs> uh, in that, uh, you know, when I say streaming, obviously I don't mean like people who stream, like, well, I, when I say stream, uh, I don't mean people who stream themselves doing something online. I, of course, mean people who live stream uh, TV shows and movies to themselves rather than having physical copies of them. Like, it's funny, because, like, obviously streaming has, like, convenience in a lot of ways, right? Because you can have an app that has a bunch of shit on it and whatnot. Uh, and I've certainly used streaming services before, though I've never actually personally paid for one. Um, uh, I have used ones that other people have given me access to, and I've also, you know, used, like, the free ones like Crackle and Tubi. Uh, but something I've noticed a lot of, there's been plenty of times where people say, it's impossible to find this movie anywhere, uh, or this show anywhere. Uh, for instance, uh, when me and Spencer did Hoodwinked for Red Eye Theater, he was acting like it was, like, impossible to find the movie. Like, it's super hard to find just because it's not on any streaming services. Uh, and after we watched it, I literally looked up, uh, the, uh, DVD, and it was, like, ten bucks. Doesn't seem like that's impossible to me. Like... It was fucking cheap as hell. Like, it might have even been, like, five bucks. I think I saw a range of, like, five to ten bucks for a DVD of it. Like, that's not hard to find at all. But he kept saying that it was hard to find because somebody did a video that he saw saying that it was, like, impossible to find Hoodwinked. It's like, it's not, though. Just buy the fucking DVD. Like, maybe it's impossible to find on a streaming service, but that doesn't mean it's impossible to find. There was also a Black Butler Book of Circus, I think. It was either Book of Circus or Book of Murder. I think it was Book of Circus. Uh, it was a review. No, no, it was Book of Murder. It was a Black Butler Book of Murder review, and this guy said it's impossible to find it. And it's like, it's not. I have the Blu-ray, and I don't think the Blu-ray goes for so much. Let me look it up right now. Okay, so Book of Mur Murder's a little bit more. Uh, it ranges between 30 to 40 bucks. I saw one going for like 60 uh, but it's, it averages around 30, so it's a little bit more, a little bit on the pricier side for just, what is it, two or three OVAs? Maybe it's four. I don't remember. It's been forever since I've seen Book of Murder. I think it's only two, but, uh, it might be four. So again, maybe not quite as affordable and easy to find as Hoodwink, but this guy acted like it's, like, impossible to find. Obviously, that's not including, you know, ways like, you know, fucking bootlegs, because there are fucking Malaysian bootlegs up the wazoo for this shit, but, uh... Also, there's, uh, you know, fucking websites where people watch this shit illegally all the time, which obviously I'm not saying that people should do that because that would be naughty and bad, uh, but uh, it's not impossible to find. I just think it's funny. People act like this shit's so difficult to find when if you have a copy, it's not. <laughs> um, but that's, that's the thing I always say, right? Streaming services can always remove something if they so choose. But, like, another one, I was watching a Simpsons video earlier where someone mentioned that uh, Stark Raving Dad was, like, a lost episode now. It's, like, it's not lost. It's just not on any of the apps, which is fucking retarded. But if you have the Simpsons Season 3 DVD, you're good. Like, I, they might have reissued it without the episode, but there's tons of copies of the old Season 3 DVD. Like, it's not like it's gone. It's still out there. It's like, uh, it, it'd be like saying that the banned episodes of South Park are inaccessible. They're not. You just gotta have the seasons 5 and 14, and I think season 8 DVDs? I think Cartoon Wars was season 8, since they recently banned Cartoon Wars, I think, in like 2020 or so. Somewhere around there. They banned it relatively recently, whenever they took it to HBO Max. Uh, but there's plenty of ways to watch this shit on physical media that's not gonna break the bank. Um... Like I said, Hoodwinked, super easy to find. Now, there are some stuff that is genuinely rare and hard to find, right? Like, there is shit that is difficult to come across and watch when you're talking, watching it legally. Uh, and there's some stuff that's even hard to find anywhere else. Like, there's no trace of it. Like, obviously, lost media is a thing. But I think it's funny when people talk about how much... Like, granted, I don't see a ton of people saying how much better streaming is, but I have come across it. I have come across people acting like streaming is better, and I would say the vast majority of people don't give a shit about physical media because they don't care about that sort of thing, but then they wonder why they can't find a movie they want to watch, and it's like, I don't know, maybe because you're watching everything on a fucking app? Maybe because you're watching something that requires you to be on the internet? Maybe because you're watching something where you don't own the movies you watch? Like, 
It's it's really funny to me that they they act like it's just impossible to find this shit. Um, and maybe this is a really weird thing for me to go on and on about, but it's just a thought I've had for a while. So I thought I'd put this out there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my insane psychotic ramblings. Uh, have a good one. Toodles. You take forever to say nothing. That sucked. I'm sure glad that's over with. Subscribe. The Fiji to Red Eye.